Welcome to a very mild day in the Haute Vienne. Um, today we are going to continue with the little cabinet that is going to sit underneath the basin in our bathroom. Sorry for that oh, flash of light. Um, as you see, yesterday I prepped a load of timber. Um, these are the side rails, this is the top. These are the legs, which you've got a little bit of work to do on them. Um, and these are the, the panels. So this is all oak. All the dark stuff and the lighter stuff is oak. This is softwood. And just like a furniture panel, glued together. Nothing fancy, but that's going to be dealt with in a different way than this is. So first off, what we've got to do... Let's clean up some of these edges because the saw's bound and I've got lots of saw marks in there so I might run that quickly through the plano to get a better edge on it. Um, I'll run them all through so they're all the same size. And then we are going to have to run grooves down here. That can be wandering off. Down here to accept the panels. We have grooves in here. As you see, as you see, you can't see the black line. There you go. As you see, and that's going to accept the panel. I've had to take a little bit edge, a little bit of an edge off this panel so they they slot in, but they're going to get well and truly dealt with. And then we can think about gluing it all together. <laughs> Very beautiful. How are you getting on, baby? Oh, I made a panel. Look. It's a bit crap on one side, but look. So lovely. what I've done. I wanted to have some raised panels in the side of the cabin. So when you put that goes in there like that and it's a raised panel as you see. Cool. However, how do you cut them? How do you cut the raised panels? How can you do that safely on a table saw? Well, so what you have to do is you have to make yourself a little bit of wood that looks like an H um, and that fits over the top of your your fence 
and allows you to clamp your piece of wood upright oh. angle your blade at this I've got 15 degrees on my angled blade and there's no wrong, you know, nice set rules and then you clamp that and as I've discovered you clamp it very hard to your upright and then your hands are fully away from your from the blade nowhere near the blade and you can safely get that chamfered edge on your panel. This lovely little plane here, which is a Stanley number 79 on the back here. Stanley historically made the best planes ever. And this, this one here and a little rebate plane were given to me. And I forgive me, I've forgotten your first name sir but Mr Whiston from Gravesend in Kent sent these to me because he thought I could use them as a budding carpenter and I have never used them until this point and I hope that I'm using them sort of correctly as just to take the, the edges off these raised panels and that's what it seems to me that you can adjust this back and it has blades here and here so you can work it either either way and it just it's the perfect tool for the job and I've noticed just as another thing there is a bill in here Mr Whiston I think uh, bought them on the 5th of December 1986 so wow. now nearly 40 years old and it was 1876 that he paid for them. Wow. 1876 that he paid for them. Number 79 plane from A. Gatto and Sons in Earlsfield, SW18 London. I really wonder if they're still around. That'd be interesting to see. That'd be really, it? yeah, yeah. Tool distributors. That'd be fantastic if they're still about because I might send that to them. I might <laughs> do a little bit of research tonight. But I think we're ready to assemble this side. I'm literally just sanding everything. I've got to sand these two. Because um, this is the front face. That's the front face. That's the front face. So I just want to sand those two. And once I've done that, we're ready to assemble. Woohoo! Just the one side. So I'm, you know, I'm doing it in turn. Um, you only got yourself to blame. Leave. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. No, stop, stop, stop it now. Fun, fun over. No, you'll break it. <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Where's my <my> bum? <laughs> right. Stop right. Stop it. What you've got ants in your pants today? Stop right. Best leave. 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 No, I mean it now. No. No. <laughs> right, stop now. Stop. Wait. What we're attempting to do is, is put this vanity unit together and hopefully squarely. So it 
when it sits on the ground it uh, it doesn't wobble over. God, it's tough old stuff. It's panel number one. So yeah, so you've got this is out of an old armoire. This I don't know where it came from. This piece we just found in the barn. This piece is the only bit that was bought, and it's softwood. Um, but that was, I think, a nice contrast with the raised panel. And then it will all get painted because um, it's good. But this, it's good that it gets painted and it's in a bathroom because it's water resistant, the paint is water resistant. So that's that, that's panel number one. Now we've got to do another next one, but we've got to do all the sanding and clean it up. So that's um, the two sides done and just offered up, dry fitted the back just to see the top fitted. Um, end of day two, happy, uh, pretty much happy if you get what I've got done, although it does take an awful long time. Um, but it looks fairly square, which is nice. Um, and then it's tomorrow, fitting the little drawer, fitting the door putting it all together and that'll be it so that's nice I'm, I'm pleased but yeah it's late too late in the day now to start anything it's dark so uh, I think we'll call it a day Where's my cheese? Oh, it's my cheese. Oh, she ate it. Is she eating it? She's eating it. <laughs> she really? Have you eaten that cheese, you little bugger? <laughs> You eat that cheese? Look, it looks on her face and goes, What, me? <laughs> you eat my cheese? Look at your face, it's, 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 it's angelic, your <laughs> face. Little <laughs> bugger. Oh. So you won't be having cheese on your... Guess not. No, I really <laughs> like cheese. And, well, it's better with cheddar, but... It's better with a bit of cheddar. So that's the end of another day. Mm. Come back tomorrow. We'll see you at the same time, same place.
Don't forget, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. See you tomorrow.